You're chasing the idea of wealth. You're the sl- you're a slave to the idea of wealth. You're a slave in the pursuit of wealth. Is it really that bad? <laughs> if it's if it's that, if it's that, if I was a slave in a job, okay, that's a bit that's a bit a, a bit of a tough situation. I mean, it would have been socially acceptable. However, it is a tough situation to be in. My friend told me this recently, and he's a bit of a manipulative guy, but he's a good guy at heart. This guy is, he's a gaslighter, he's a manipulator, but he has good intentions, right? So it's all okay. This guy knows what the fuck he's doing. This guy, he read 4A Laws of Power once, and he just uses the tactics constantly, 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 constantly. I know him. I know this guy. And he's very, very, he has a very strong conviction within his words and within his ideology. And I quite like him because of it. Because we have contrasting opinions. However, I want to take an insult to the fact that I'll be less successful than him. That's an insult. What are you doing to become successful? I asked him this. And he got offended. Nothing. Nothing. I asked him the question. He, he, he blacked me. And he got offended and he was talking other shit. Shit otherwise. He's like, you have no right to talk about it. I'm like, I have entrepreneurship experience. Okay, you're in your uh, education system. Amazing. Phenomenal. Keep going in there. Work on your trade. I probably would have done a trade. All the advice he said to me was good on paper. But if I had not fallen like that, would I have done that? Had I not dropped out of college, would I have not just what have I just stayed a spug, focusing on A levels, talking to girls, like wasting, wasting all that fucking time instead of focusing on the real shit, the important shit? Had I would I have not done that? Let's say I finished college at eighteen, right? I'm still playing video games, I'm still doing stupid shit, maybe I'm doing YouTube YouTube and the shit on the side. But I wouldn't probably be taking that super seriously like I am now. Let's just say, hypothetically, I need to wash my hair, man. <sighs> Let's say, hypothetically, I stayed in the education system. I would have remained complacent. There would be no business. There would be no fitness journey. There would be no entrepreneurship dream. There would be nothing like that. It says, you could have accomplished anyway if you are in school. No, I would not. I could have, yes. But would I? No. This guy fucking knows me. Or doesn't know he doesn't really know me to be honest. Um a lot of things he says about me and the way I perceive myself, I'm utterly brutally realistic with myself. The way he sees me, the way I see myself, this guy is like he doesn't fucking know me. I consider him my best friend, but he doesn't fucking know me. He's he sees like my past self instead of me, the current me. Which I understand. But it's very, very frustrating at times. And what can you do about that though? The only thing you really do about these type of people that see your past self is like when you make a big change and you meet the people that you met with, that you were like friends before in school. They're like, what happened to you? I got my hand to talk about this and anyone who becomes like fit, strong, rich after and they do like a high school reunion. Everyone's like, what the fuck happened to you? Because everyone else fucking became complacent. They became complacent with their fucking jobs. They became normal. They became mediocre. And you decided with that one little thought in your brain. Is this all there is to my life? And you wanted more. And you wanted more from life. And you chased that entrepreneurship dream. You chased so that, that dream of becoming financially free. Finan- uh, fiscal freedom. You chased that. And you got it. You chased that 10 out of 10 body. Because you knew that a 10 out of 10 body is priceless. And literally, Google that shit. How long, um, thing, how many years will my life be extended if I exercise? Seven fucking years. The majority of the people around you are fat and overweight. How are they giving you advice? And mediocre. They're working a 9 to 5. This 9 to 5 guy talks about investing. And then in 50 years time, in 4 years time, he's talking about investing 400k with a 10% ROI. Like it's a 40k back. Wow, amazing numbers. You don't have to do anything. You get 40k. Wow, amazing life, right? And if in 40 years time, you, you'll, you'll get a bunch of money because of, of all the dividends and all the company. Sh- shut the fuck up. He's an average Joe Schmo working at, and he's like an average Joe Schmo. He's 50, working a fucking 9 to 5. You're not fit to give me advice. You might have life experience much more than me. What the fuck have you done with a life experience? Oh, it's very annoying, man. I see people that are mediocre, and nobody wants to be mediocre, right? They end up becoming mediocre because they become complacent. People are very, very intelligent, actually. 
in actuality, people are incredibly intelligent. People know where things are off. Emotional intelligence off the charts, right? But people want complacent. And complacency is the killer of man. Seriously. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm getting, like, people think I'm angry when I get to this point. But I'm actually genuinely passionate about this topic because I believe that so much potential is wasted in this space. In the, in the space of just becoming complacent. So much potential. And when you waste potential, like, that shit is, it hurts. It genuinely hurts. Like, with my, with my channel, my YouTube channel that I didn't upload, I, that's a waste of potential. That hurts. With that entrepreneurship dream that I fit, uh, that I didn't pursue, I, don't, I technically fell because I didn't pursue it. But I didn't pursue, that's, that's a waste of the potential. That hurts. I don't want to see any of the people around me just work a 9 to 5 and live that dreary life and just become complacent and okay with it. Oh, it's okay with it. Oh, I've got a steady paycheck. It's okay. The fuck? What the hell, man? I don't... What the hell, man? I don't understand. I don't understand. Listen, guys. Me, with entrepreneurial experience, with sales experience, with prof experience in dealing with numbers, experience in dealing with profits, learning how to actually make a profit, cut, just constantly rigorously educating myself this is the only thing you can do right even if you're outside of education most people that are outside of the education system are glad it's done right if you're still inside the education system now focus on the education system, of course of course focus on it amazing it's phenomenal like you might you might get a job pays the bills puts food on the table but with that extra time don't play the fucking video games don't play the extra bullshit like, don't do all this shit, all right? Think five years ahead. If you play the video games, how is this going to affect you negatively or positively? Okay, if you stream it, all right, and you made a bunch of fucking clips, all right, it will be good. Because if you're streaming and make a bunch of clips, you're, you're attacking your algorithm with content. And if you're genuinely funny, and, or if you're genuinely good at the game, you can be funny or good at the game, or you can be none. You can be trash at the game. You can really bad the game, but your reaction is funny as fuck, like speed or something. And you're just going goofy, going crazy. Bro, you can make a lot, of, still make a lot of money. As long as you're attacking the algorithm with clips, with streams, with video, with content, 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 push, 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 push. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're doing that, then it's fine. So I guess I, I want to put that point across. Work on something. If you're in the education system, work on something. It's much more fulfilling. People might laugh at you. Oh, you dropped out of school to do a YouTube channel or some stupid shit like that. Don't give a fuck, all right? Why would you give a fuck about other people's opinions? What the fuck are they going to do? They don't even, they're studying, what, like, they're gonna, probably going to get a useless degree because they don't know what the, the fuck they're studying for. Put everything... Not necessarily, not put everything, but everything that you put, every choice that you make, every belief that you have, everything you put in your life, in your mouth, everything you can consume, every, like, literally everything you put in your, in your life, your mouth, your mind, question it. Question your beliefs, question the things that you do, you eat, the way you sleep, even the way, the littlest things. What am I doing with my life? That's the, one of the most powerful questions you could possibly ask yourself. What am I doing with my life? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't. I know this conversation is pivoting a lot, pivoting from my friend sees, sees me as a failure or some shit. But like, I don't care. I don't care. I'll just, well, I'll get rich, I'll cut him off, prove him wrong. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Are you going to let the opinion of people that are clearly lower than yourself... Because if you're hating on other people, you're clearly low with other people. Successful people don't hate each other. Like, you never see successful people really hating each other. Unless it's for like entertainment, like Conor McGregor type shit. That's different, right? But you don't see Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos constantly at war. I heard uh, Elon Musk talk about one bad thing. One bad thing, I guess, about Jeff Bezos. That he's self-centered and he has an intense desire to win all by himself. That's the worst thing I've heard Elon Musk say about... Jeff Bezos. I haven't really heard him say anything else. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I'm focused on my own life. I don't. I don't give a fuck. This is this is the thing. Like you guys give too much of a fuck about people that don't give a fuck about you back. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. No, nobody. I don't care. You don't care. You don't care if I become successful. You might see I become successful, and then you you say, "Wow, inspirational, Jimmy." That Jimmy Chan. Wow, look at that guy. That guy is that guy is the man. 
he gave back to his parents, and he's got a private jet, and he's got a Rolls Royce, and a Mercedes, and Brabus, and he's got a fucking Lamborghini McLaren, and da 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 He's the man. What an inspiration. But you don't give a fuck. Because that's not, that's not you, right? You might be inspired, and you motivate for about a week, but you don't give a fuck, do you? <laughs> so focus on the, th the things that you do give a fuck about. Your video games. Why do you give a fuck about it? Because it's fun. It's not fun, is it? Analyze it. Why do you think it's fun? How are you like when you play, actually play the video games? Push mid, push mid. 160, 160. Cross. 17, 17. Bro, bro, get him. He's cracked, he's cracked, he's cracked. Bro, he's 1 HP, he's 1 HP. Oh my god, guys, push mid, push mid, bro. Get the tower. Bro, get the tower, get high ground. You're like a zombie. That's what I, I did this. I genuinely did this. And I, I was like, because I was still engrossed in video games at the time. And this is the video, this is the friend that encouraged me to play video games, by the way. He encouraged me to back get back on the game. So I don't want to hear fucking bullshit or anything, right? I don't, I don't hear this shit. And then he said once, I'm glad you don't play the game anymore because you got angry. Just back, backtrack, back to He's a 17 year old kid. Don't take it. Like, I, I wouldn't take advice from him anymore. Don't take advice, okay? The people that are similar age to you that don't know shit, you know what I'm saying? Take people advice who are older than you, that have their shit together. They're real, really, they have their shit together. They have results, tangible results, and they have a good head on their shoulders. Most importantly, all right, guys. Anyways, more importantly, man, I lost my entire train of thought. Six, six a.m. Nobody gives a shit. Man, oh my god, sorry. Uncut channel. My hair looks stupid. I wanna watch a movie. I'm gonna drink some water. I think about what I had to say. Two weeks, not doing shit. Inspiration, friends, he's music failure. Listen, guys. If you go against the grain, you'll be seen as a failure. That's it. The failure isn't one of those things, as you hear all the time, right? Failure isn't one of those things where it's the end all be all. You're only a real failure if you quit. That's when you're a real failure. But if you keep trying, keep trying new businesses, keep trying new ventures, you keep trying this, keep trying that, you will not be a failure. Because within business, you only need to be a one hit wonder. Like music, you need to have like at least 10 good songs going, and then every single year you have to make this X amount of songs. But if you're in business, you only need to be a one hit, like a one hit wonder. One business does really, really well, and that pays your bills forever. And now you don't have to worry about money anymore. And then you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can go to Bali. You can go to fucking Vietnam. You can go to Japan. You can go to Thailand, Singapore. Don't give a fuck. See everything. Cons consume the culture. Consume the lifestyle, which is what I want so bad. This is why I'm so jealous of these freaking crazy rich Asian kids. Because these kids, right, you see it, they're born from old fucking money. Old money. Real old money. So, motherfucker, man, literally, they have never had the concept, the idea of poverty. They have, they have got everything they ever wanted in their entire life, and nothing means anything. It's, it's like a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. Because if you're if you're a brokey like me, you're a commoner like me, or like the, most of us that are watching, you're a broke, you're a brokey, you're a commoner. The thing is, yeah, you you have these things that are always out of reach. You might have that dream car. You might have that dream plane. Like you might get private. Want to get private jet? You might be like me. I want to. I want. I have a dream car. I have a dream plane. I want a dream lifestyle. I want to give back to people. You might have those dreams. Those people have never had that. They've never had that dream. Everything they got, they wanted, they got it immediately. That's how they become sport brats, right? But the thing is, yeah, it's the, the way they approach life is so different. Because the way we would approach life is that chase money, chase money, business, entrepreneurship, do what the fuck you need, pay bills, duh, 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 duh. stress, 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 worry, worry, worry. The way they chase life, the way they approach life is, oh, money's already set. I'm just gonna go traveling. Fuck it. It's just, it's such a different paradigm. I get jealous of the, like, the, the, the paradigm shift that it is, that, that, that it is present there. They don't have to care about something as 
I was like, it's paper. Don't care about my paper. Fuck, man. Woo! I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting angry. Anyways, 15 minute mark. I'll see you in the video.